If you're like me, you probably think, man, it'd be great to be a gorilla. Lounging around the jungle, eating bananas whenever you want. And don't get me started about all that amazing body hair. Lush. But some apes have it hard. Ah, stop! I'm awake! I'm up! Oh. Ah. George? George, time to get up. Uh, George don't want to get up. <laughs> George can feed himself. Ah! Uh, frog? Oh, super big. No, George, the frog is close. Now, it's just further away. Frog shrink! How it goes so tiny! <gasps> frog magic! <sighs> Hmm, that's a serious snake jam. We'll have to untangle it and... Uh, ape? Help? <sighs> I'll get the soapy water. Ape! Ape! George needs you! How did you get a bucket stuck on your head? <coughs> How else George know if it fits? Uh, George no likey! It's just a spoon. There's no little George in it. Ah! Little George scared too! Everything okay, George? George can't find way out! Turn the door handle, George. Tiny room filled with water! <sighs> Those were the taps, George. <laughs> what do you mean you just lost it? How do you lose your arm? <laughs> it looking at me. It's meatloaf, George. I make it for you every Thursday. <laughs> It alive? It's not alive. Then where it go, huh? Ah. Uh, it go home to meet friends, plan revenge. And then the good jungle King George lived happily ever after. Good night, George. Good night, eh? It's not that I'm sad, it's not that I'm mad, it's just that I wonder if I've sometimes been had. Just like a flower, I need room to grow, just like the wind, I need space to blow. A brain needs to think, a skunk needs to stink, but I'm like a pen that's run out of ink. I only have one question, but it's more than essential. I wonder, just I wonder, am I living up to my potential? Potential! Potential! <sighs> what? No, 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 that will never work for a trip to Mars. You'll be pulled into Jupiter's gravity well. <laughs> there, much better. Hmm. Knight takes queen in six. Ah! Checkmate! Now that's a pickle. But if you solve for the square root of x, then it's just an, an inverse, inverse polynomial! polynomial. Ah! Whoa! Hold on! It's okay. I just want to talk to someone with an IQ in the triple digits. I mean, have you seen Cuspid? Gotta love him. But he's basically a walking display of my failure. I figured maybe we could... Uh, Are you asking me out? Just to hang out and talk about smart stuff. I don't know. It's a stupid idea. 
One condition, no evil. No goody-goody stuff either. Pinky swear. So, do you like hyper chess? Never heard of it. Kidding, I invented it. <laughs> that we'd have the same favorite noble gas. <clears throat> <laughs> Where Ape been? Oh, you know, the jungle. Ape missed George drowning cereal, and lake on fire, and bathroom swim, and bedtime story. George even do meatloaf night himself. <laughs> Argon. Oh, what happened here? Oh, Doc, oh my gosh, thank you. Goodness, you're back. There was an imposter, but don't worry, I got him good. Where were you anyway? You missed video games and flossing. <laughs> and my birthday. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I was out counting trees. You know, one, two, three. <laughs> Wait, trees can't count. Hey. There's more than one, two, three trees in the jungle. What's going on? Maybe a death laser? You promised no evil. How about an eco tank that shoots out trees? Ew, that's so goody goody, I'm getting covered in brownie points just thinking about it. Hmm, if you've got a better idea of what to build this afternoon. Giant robot? It's a classic. Too easy. Make it a giant robot octopus and I'm in. Done. We've got about an hour until Cuspin and George accidentally set something on fire, so that's more than enough time. Hey, how could you? Doc, why I never? Your doctor stole my ape! Your ape stole my doctor! What do you do about it? What are you going to do about it? I don't know! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we should work together and teach them a lesson! Yeah, but with who? And done. 48 minutes. Not bad. Who wants to take her out for a scuttle first? We know Ape and Doctor's secret. Yeah, we know it all. Cuxpit, get out of there this minute! George, come down and I'll explain everything. No! Not till Ape and Doctor make up to George and Big Tooth thing for lying. Forget Please. it. No problem! It's only right. Something quickly! Aren't you 
idiots will explode themselves. And so, to save their best pals, Ape and Dr. Chicago quickly came up with an incredibly smart plan. <laughs> Into a, a plan so brilliant, so ingenious, so incredible, that it was far too smart for our writers or artists to think up or draw. Phew! That too close for George. No kidding! I'm gonna need at least three fillings. We're just glad you're safe, ish. You know, George tests the limits of my intellect every single day. It's true. Without Cuspid, my life would be far too easy. Ooh. Better, but too easy. Oh. Plus, you and I are too different to stay friends. Tree planting? Death lasers. Enemies again? <laughs> How did you get a bucket on your head again? Hey, hey you. Yeah, with the horns. Come here. Just a little bit closer. Closer. Closer, closer, closer. Ah! Again! Ah! 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 <laughs> One Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago, four. Five Chicago, six Chicago, seven Chicago, more. Ordered all that corn syrup? I thought it was for pancakes. Like the single stick that easily broke. Broke? Oh man. Broken. I am much stronger when there's a whole bundle of me. <laughs> Jungle now, fancy feathers. <gasps> Jungle for animals, not bad doctors. How about bad, bad doctors? doctors. Possibly defeat all these clones. <gasps> George, just tell all the animals how <laughs> delicious they are. <laughs> They're eating your clones like pancakes. Quiet. <laughs> Good plan, Ape. You saved George. Entire jungle should say, Thank you, George. But Ape think a plan. <laughs> say thank you, Ape, instead. George, 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 George. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> anyone? Anyone? Fine. I've still got space for dessert. You're going to get eaten eventually, so you might as well. It can't be. Excala banana. Come on, get out! It's mine! Maybe if I wiggle it... Let me get this straight. That's a magic banana, and only the chosen hero can pull it from the stone? Uh-huh. George read all about Excala Banana when he little, George. But I want it! I need it! You found it, Ape. Maybe you should... Why are you talking to that filthy coat human woman with bad shorts? Oh, hello. Have we met? It's me, Ape. I'm George's mentor. George! Our hero who solves every problem by himself. Pull Excalibur from the stone, George! Ursula get magic banana, then Ursula eat magic banana. <laughs> Next! Uh, 
Maybe uh. no one deserves Excalibur banana. All I know is I'm starving. <laughs> Ow! What's wrong with this? <gasps> what? You've never seen a. Oh my word, I have Excalibur banana! The chosen one! Me? Oh no, there must be a mistake. I'm not a hero. I'm George's mentor. Here! No! Excalibur banana choose ape! But I don't even know what it does! <laughs> See? A perfect choice! So, it seems to let me fly. That's not all! <laughs> Excalibur banana also make you super tough! <laughs> and super strong! <laughs> and super not careful enough. I'm not used to being a hero. That okay. George, help! First tip, all hero need sweet cape. You don't wear a cape. George's cape invisible. Second tip, need to be hero all the time. Great power mean no days off. I'm sure I could manage that. It harder than it look. Um, Excelsior? Try again! Excelsior! Too deep. It's not like there's monsters down there or nothing. This defies all known sciences. Biology, geology, physics, quantum physics. Yeah, yeah because it's magic, of course. Don't you know anything about wizard swords from magic history? Anyone who possesses Excalibur banana becomes super fantastic! Anyone? Yep, anyone. That's what I said. Anyone. Anyone at all. Mm hmm. <gasps> Even you! Yes, thank you. Thank you. Very flattered indeed. All this heroing is exhausting. George, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, George always wanted to garden, and now with new hero ape doing hero stuff, George have time. But why inside? So it no get wet or sunburnt. Ah, I see. Well, maybe I'll help. It's been a long day, and I could use some relaxing. <sighs> but I just got home. Oh, sorry. You're a full-time job, remember? Yes, of course. Milk will make you grow big and strong. Strange chemicals George find help too. And so, Ape rescued people, animals, and even vegetables in need. Signed autographs until his pen ran dry. Sliced, diced, and chopped. Fought that weird monster guy again and did it over and over and over. <sighs> I never knew being a hero was so exhausting. Safe and sound while I take a nap. Everyone can wait. <sighs> Wakey, wakey! Someone just made a big mistake! Haven't you heard? I'm incredible now! Ow, 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 ow. How are you doing that? What, this? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because I have... Excala banana? But I put it back in the stone! No! You put it in the fake stone I made out of food coloring and corn syrup! The real one's over there! <laughs> You're going to hurt me now, aren't you? No, no, no. Not yet. Now I'm going to hurt you. Ah! Who 
who's flaunting the laws of physics now? George? George, you have to help me. One second, ape. Good name tougher than George thought. What seemed to be problem, ape? I have Excala banana. <laughs> it' okay. Tell George. This magic sword that I have is really awesome. Ape Blue's wallet, keys. I lost Excalibur banana. All I wanted was a nap. Oh, there, there. <laughs> he ain't here so hard. It is. It really is. But now Ape must get sword back before Doctor does more bad things. But how? He's super powered. He'll beat the stuffing out of me. Eh, that hero part. But no worry. Ape's smart, remember? And George helped too. <laughs> okay, smart plan. That's what I do, right? <laughs> Bad cucumber! Bad cucumber! And don't come back! <laughs> um, stop. Stop, please? Or what? You're just a dirty fur coat! You don't even have powers anymore! <laughs> See? <laughs> you can't win! Why would you even try to fight me? <laughs> because that's what heroes do. <laughs> and because I had to give George enough time to do that. What? No! 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 Good work, Abe. See? That would being a hero all about. Ape doesn't even need magic banana sword. Thanks, George. George, George, George. At least I can finally go home and rest. Being king of the jungle isn't easy. There's peril at every turn. Animals that need help. Other animals that don't. I save, uh, the crocodile? No, George, the sloth, the baby sloth. Why would a crocodile need saving from a one-year-old sloth? Well, baby sloth look mean. It doesn't look, oh. Just swing in there and save the sloth. Hmm? Sloth, 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 uh, sloth green. Sloth have scale? It's the brown one with fur. Save sloth! Yeah. <laughs> Both the Grease Monkey Clan and the Stink Badgerino think they should live in this cave. As Jungle King, your decision will prevent a terrible war. Oh, George feel much better. But cave kind of messy. Very nice. Now where are they going to live? George love having house guests. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Dr. Chicago's evil science lab. Imagine a creature so mean, so filled with hatred, so vicious that you'd wet your pants even thinking about it! Yay! Oh, yay! You're probably thinking, what is that? That, my friends, is Cuspid, Dr. Chicago's toothy science assistant. The doctor created Cuspid to help out with his evil plans, but mm, sometimes things don't work out how you imagined. Behold! What? Puppies? Kittens. Oh, they're not scary or mean. They're fuzzy and have pink noses. <laughs> I said, imagine it. I haven't even hit them with my new monsterizer. Ahem. George, destroy the doctor's machine. <laughs> this make kitties into monsters? Huh. George like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> At least we destroy machine. 
Hey, what wrong? You need use bathroom? <laughs> Warning, poetry ahead. Warning. As the result of a terrible poetry accident in his second year at Oxford, Ape can only speak in rhyme when furiously frustrated. A jungle king you're supposed to be. Instead, you're barely bourgeoisie. You keep your eyes closed on a vine. George, scared of heights. You never remember which toothbrush is mine. They look same. You always leap before you look. <laughs> when we ran out of toilet paper, you used my book. I've hit my limit. No more. That's it. Goodbye, George. I'm done. I quit! <laughs> oh, Ape, you funny. Ape? Uh, so I'm your new roommate. Name's Bernard. Hope you like loud music and a fridge full of goats. <laughs> Come back, Ape. George, try harder. George, be better. Don't promise to change. Ow. Hmm. Okay, I think I have a way to help you. There's only two things you need to know about bitey bitey ants. One, they're deathly afraid of anteaters. Two, when they get scared, they. Whoa! Wouldn't want to have him in loincloth. He's going in your loincloth. But uh. George promised he'd change. You did. And our little friend? Henry. Our little friend Henry here will help make sure you do. For this, I truly apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> Henry tickled. Anteater. <laughs> See, Henry and I will help you remember to be a better jungle king. It's for your own good. Okay, I uh, ape think this best. <laughs> now it tickles again. <laughs> so high! Anteater! Anteater. Ah! Uh, 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 <sighs> Say the word. But but George save sloth and eagle baby and swing good on fine. But you didn't do them properly, like a king should. Say the word. George, no wanna. Say it. And. <laughs> George, 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 there's an insect on your eyeball. And eater. <laughs> oh. Ew. George, your breakfast's getting cold. George, eat like a civilized ape man. Don't make me. Chef, uh, play um, um, fetch. Um. <laughs> Hi, George. Hi, ape. Just thought I'd drop in and. What is wrong with George? What? Nothing's wrong with George. Really? Really? <laughs> George, jungle spirit scared way. Huh. See? George normally tried to escape. He's fine. I've just gotten rid of all his silly little quirks. Um. Hello? What do George's quirks have to do with being a good king? Pish. George, show them you're happy with a new you. Anteater. 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 Anteater! Fine. We'll take him to the witch doctor, but there's no way this is my 
full. This is definitely your fault. See this? This isn't normal. Not even for Einstein here. He's hiding somewhere inside his own head. I wonder why. And by that, I mean I'm not wondering at all. Hmm. If George is hiding from anything, it's his jungle duties. So I'll go inside his head and bring him back to reality. If I'm not back in ten minutes, take my casserole out of the oven. Commence Simeon Mind Mail! <laughs> Okay, now. Well, I shouldn't be surprised. It is George's mind. <laughs> While not entirely unpleasant, I will forget that ever happened. Excuse us. Oh, excuse us. <laughs> George, wake up! Time to come back! <laughs> George, stop! <laughs> oh, man! Sorry, George. <laughs> What's wrong? Hey, not hurt, George? Hurt you? No, I'm your friend, George. I'd never hurt you. Oh, George think you were other ape. Other ape? What other? Ah! Antita! Is that? Pretty big ape! Antita! No, that big mean ape that hurt George for no good reason with bitey ants. Oh, this is all my fault. It okay, ape? It's not okay. I should never have tried to change your silly little quirks. They don't even matter. It really okay. You think I'm a big monster and you ran and hid from me? Antita! Sorry. <laughs> Babe. Hey! Yay! Yeah! Ah. You want to go back to real jungle? <laughs> What's the rush? Oh, your little quirks aren't so bad after all. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I know, George. But we were only fostering Tusky, and now he's grown up and needs to live his own life. But Tusky, George's favorite pet! <laughs> George, it's not fair to Tusky to keep him here any longer. Plus, he scored you twice last week. Oh, he not mean to pop George's lung. And he's not housebroken and smells like a wolf. Okay, Ape, you right. Me say goodbye and... Come on, George. I'll cook your favorite meal to cheer you up. All done your coconut gettys of brownies? Mm-hmm. Feeling better now? Come on. Let's get you to bed. <laughs>
Welcome back, Abe. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Swell. Have a seat and we can begin. Remember, you two, no one can know about my secret bathroom. Hey, tell me about the jungle. Well, I don't like to brag, but it's rather marvelous. I would like to see it someday. Oh, Swirl, this is your home. Everything a very expensive toilet could want is right here. But, hey. Shh. Now have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Swell! Swell, what are you doing here? The jungle is very beautiful. I would like to see more of it, eh? You need to go back to the bathroom right away. No one can see you out here. Why not? Because one, leaves give me a rash. And two, if my friends find out about my secret special bathroom... Uh, Abe, who you talk to? No poop! <laughs> Me, George. <laughs> George, I'd like you to meet an old friend of mine. Swell. Swell Martin the First. Please meet you. <laughs> I'm very polite, but handshake a little clammy. Yes, well, Swell only came to visit for a few minutes and... But I want to see more of the jungle. Wait. If eight friend Swell Martin wants the jungle, George Happy show him around. It must not get out much. So pale. And so, George took Swirl Martin the First on a tour of the jungle. This big jungle where George worked. That lion eat George once. That snake also eat George once. That bird eat George, and George too big to fit in throat. Jungle very hungry. Show me more, please. Swell, you shouldn't bother George. He has important work to do. Nah, animals can eat George later. This way! This waterfall! Oh, nice to float in. This volcano! Way too hot to float in. <laughs> this banana tree. Ooh, this apple tree. This watermelon tree. This burrito tree. <laughs> this underwear tree. And this soothing lotion for burns tree. Oh. Can we see more tomorrow? No, no, no! Uh, swell, you have to go home to, uh... Porcelania. Run. See you tomorrow, Swirl Martin the First. <laughs> ah, we all had a very nice time today, but your job is in here. Not gallivanting around outside. But, Abe, I could help you in the jungle. I've read all your books. I know many things. You don't understand, Swirl. You're a toilet, not a jungle helper. And besides, you can help me best right here. <laughs> I can't believe we ate a thousand apples. You know a better way of stopping avalanche? Touche. You rest here, George. I just need to make sure we got them all. Swell? <laughs> Swell? Okay, whenever you're ready. Uh, Magnolia, have you seen... Your amazingly awesome friend, Swirl Martin? You bet. He's helping me with my research. Thanks, Swirl. <laughs> now I can tag all the fish for science. I have no idea how he just did that. Tag, 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 tag! Yes, well, Swirl's vacation is over, and it's time he left. But he has to put all the water back. <laughs> the jungle, Abe. I'm sorry, Swirl, but you're a very fragile and expensive toilet, and you need to stay here where it's safe. There. I'm afraid you'd have to tunnel your way out of here now, and that would take months. I'm glad we had this little talk. Good work, George. I'm sure we'll find their mother soon. Too bad Swirl not here. He's so great at helping George be good king. 
Yes, I suppose he was. Have you guys seen Swirl? He was helping me finish my paper on sloths and their mysterious hats. Um, well, no, I'm afraid. <laughs> Where Pale Round Swirl? He showed Ursula how to taste animal fear. Well, I thought you could use some cheering up, so I brought you a brand new... <gasps> Swell, what are you? Oh. Eight months later. <laughs> Swell. <laughs> when I find him. <laughs> Hey, Ferdy baby. George, that was amazing. Uh, George, know you? It's me, Ape. I was trapped in my secret. Uh, I got lost on my way to buy milk. Hey. Ape, I'm your mentor? No, Swirl George mentor. See, Swirl make George great jungle king. Where is he? And who are you again? I was only gone eight months. We met at Bernard's party last April, right? I don't know where Swirl is. He's such a busy guy. We're shooting a TV special next week. The mysterious world of sloths and their many different hats. <laughs> Whoa, sheesh. Okay. Uh, maybe he's with... What the... Ah! 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 Stop. It's me, Abe. No, you did her. I'm looking for Swirl. Why you not? Say so! Swirl teach Ursula how to be scariest hunter ever! All animals fear Ursula now, just way Ursula like it. Lock me in my own bathroom, take my life and my job and my friends in! Oh, hello, Abe. Swirl, who your new friend? Ah, ah, ah. You stole my you wouldn't let me have one. the shoulder of George. Ursula's eyes glittered as she pounced on Magnolia. All these moments were almost flushed away like tears. No! No! Why? Why did you save me? Because I'm sorry. Sorry for everything I did to you. Thank you, Ape. I shouldn't have stolen your life. Instead, I will go and find my own. No. Thank you, Swirl. Hey, where's Swirl? And who are you again? Remember me now? George thinks so. Ape. You're an ape and your name's Ape. That's not confusing at all. <sighs> Ursula Miss Swirl. Me too, Ursula. But he taught me a very important lesson. Hi, I'd like to order a new toilet. No, no, just a normal one this time. Please. us in a topiary labyrinth. Huh? A maze made of fancy bushes, George. A puzzle. But the real question is, who could have... We love puzzles. George, go first. Yay! Me find way. No, this way. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, Abe, it's impossible. 
impossible. George so scared. Nothing is impossible. But this is George's favorite loincloth. It's your only loincloth and our only hope. Now come with me. See, now we know we've been here before. <laughs> Tickles. <gasps> it's the Secret Ape Council, George. Cover yourself. Oh, no problem. Me need emergency loincloth. Where do you keep that? Ahem. You have passed the Sacred Ape Council Sacred Maze Test! Let me win! The test wasn't for you! It was for him! Me? But why? Ape, we'd like you to join the Sacred Ape Council! And that is what it looks like when our normally reserved ape has his mind blown. You see, it's always been Ape's dream to be on the council. Trick or treat! When I'm grown up, I'm gonna be on the Ape Council. They control the laws of nature. I accept. I accept. Wait, that is, unless George still needs me. <laughs> Ape dream come true. <gasps> me so happy. Yes, yes, let the ceremony begin! But the Ape Council only invites new members when an old one passes on his rune. Who am I replacing? Do you want the peel or not, Captain? Mind your own business? <laughs> and with the flipping of the sacred switch, the ceremony is complete! Welcome to the Ape Council, Ape! <laughs> Hello, hello, is this thing on? You'll get the hang of it. Now, we must go. It's two for one spicy eagle wing night, and we don't want to be late. See you tomorrow for your first day on the job. Wing, wing. George, I, I just want you to know that I'll miss you. Breathe, George. You don't have telepathic powers. <laughs> George miss Ape too. Lots and lots and lots. Who we'll mentored George when Ape gone? George, you're a grown man now. You don't need a man. You'll find someone, George. Double Mochachino! How did you? We of the Ape Council know everything. It's our duty to ensure that the universe runs like clockwork. First, we make sure the sun rises on time. Done. Excellent. Let us have a mid-morning snack before we continue with our arduous tasks. Next, we make sure the grand waterfalls flow in the right direction. Another Yes, for the all-important and impressive council. Let us break for an executive lunch. Don't the falls always flow in the right direction? Now, we must make sure the stars in the night sky are properly calibrated. And they are right. Uh, is this really all we do? George and I would have stopped that creepy bush baby from being creepy. Your enthusiasm shall be noted in the monthly newsletter, should you decide to start one. It's been a long day. Not really. But we still have one monumental task. We must check the seals on this cave. What's so important about it? Well, it's the, uh... The Danger Portal of Doom! Right, Total Doom! The Danger Portal of Total Doom? Sounds fishy. What's inside? Quit being nosy again. Seals look good! Another success for the all-important Sacred Ape Council! We are the best! Would you ladies like to join us for cocktail hour? Are you sure these seals are good? Is this just masking tape? George? George! George, wake up! Oh, hello, Ape. 
Hey, meet Gary, new mentor. We keep jungle safe. But that lion's about to eat that zebra. <laughs> Gary, what George do? Okay, Gary, if you say so. Hey, good plan, Ape. I'm sorry, George. I have to go and find a better mentor than that, Gary. Woe is us! The seal has failed! And he has escaped! Who's he? He is Cecil. He was a counselor like us until he went... Crazy Bananas! By Crazy Bananas, he means Cecil got tired of how the council was just a bunch of lazy apes. He wanted to change things. First, for good. Like with a children's literacy campaign. So he tried again. And again, and again. But the selfishness of the Ape Council drove him mad. And then drove him evil. Before long, Cecil controlled the entire jungle. Sure, triple volcano fountain, animal explosions, blah, blah, blah. But when he set our hot tub on fire, we knew we had to act. We took his banana peel and sealed him in this portal forever. Fish. Uh, where does it go? Should we care? <laughs> and that is why you deserve to be destroyed. You may have taken my sacred banana peel, but I created something even more powerful. The pan-dimensional half-coconut helmet. Cecil, I demand that you... Get lost! And I demand that you feel an icy robe wind! So cold! Needy moss hug! Oh! My personal space! We have to do something! He's too powerful! We grow weak! Yes! Our power drains from our banana rooms! We're what? Mine feels fine. No! I'm growing too weak to stay away! This can't be happening! Now you see them for what they are, ape. Lazy, no good peel jockeys. Hmm. Do you think we should check it out? Okay, Nico. You pretty good mentor, Woody. You're not like them, ape. Join me, and we'll make the jungle a better place! Let me show you what real power is. You mean like a mentor, which is someone you listen to? How I used to mentor George? Yeah, I know what a mentor is. Okay, I'd love to get closer and join you, but... <laughs> but what? Uh, but I need to get my nose clean first. What? Uh, show me your powers. Ah, you want to see what I can do? Okay, fine. How about this? Impressive. But what if you wanted to sneak up on someone? Now choose. Are you with me or not? Well, on the top of my head. I think I'll take back my offer. His head. His head, George. Eat his helmet, George. You done! It took me all morning to carve that out! Our plan was a success! Hurrah for us! You show great willingness to do stuff, Counselor Ape! So I offer you my position as Top Banana of the Ape Council! Really? But I... Of course, I'd still be the official Top Banana, but you'll do all the Top Banana work. I thought being in the council was what I wanted, but I already had my dream job as your mentor, George, and your friend. <laughs> okay, then. Everyone else, hot tub at my place!
Come on, George. Let's go home. Well, that was a waste of time. <laughs>